Welcome back to your show, Identities on Slovo, where we're talking about public debt and just understanding what it is and how it functions, how it impacts on our lives. Before we went on the break, and welcome, actually, Doctor, welcome to the show. It's good mm -hmm. to have you in the segment. Before we went on the break, we had already understood the principles, the fundamentals of debt. Why is it important, before we even talk about strategies to, to, to service our debt, why does the government keep borrowing? Is it necessary? Can the government not just uh, use the allocated resources from the fiscals? Borrowing is inevitable in life, even at person or individual. There is a resources scarcity that is understandable. Uh, the government has to borrow to finance bankable projects. As long the project, the program, is going to produce yields or retains to service that, I think that is very normal. Then another issue is when we are borrowing, do we have a strategy in place regarding the repayment? Mm -hmm. And what are we borrowing for? If it is consumptive, where we borrow to eat to buy bread, I think that will be poor borrowing. But if we are borrowing for capital projects, the capital projects that are going to produce other goods to improve mm. safety delivery, to improve the living standards of our people, to make sure that we have hospitals, we have schools, we have roads, we have this and that. That one is the, it's okay, it's above board. Mm -hmm. But what is more important, let's consider the sustainability of those debts or borrowing that we are taking. Mm. Do we have the capacity to service? Mm. And if we can do that, I don't see any problem mm. with the borrowing. Even like even yourself as an individual, you don't need to fall into the debt trap mm. where you just borrow and you don't service. And the government is also encouraged to do that. And if you check the Public Finance Management Act, it has borrowing limits, even the constitution is the framework, the role of the parliament is clearly outlined there, the role of the citizens is clearly out, outlined there. If the constitution says, for instance, we should not borrow more than 10% or 15% of the previous revenue collected, let's live within mm. those limits and needs, <coughs> then everything will be okay. It ensures that we have the capacity to service. So this is information that we all should have um, about, okay, the parameters in which the government should or should not be borrowing. How aware are citizens about these things and how much are they participating? Um, as I said before, um, to a large extent, citizens are aware that there are parameters in which governments borrow. Mm. There are legal frameworks, for example. <laughs> yes, to some extent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but there's okay. still a lot of work to be done yeah. to take these issues. Because I keep asking you that because yes. you are coming from the civil society and usually the civil society has been complimenting the government in as far as educating the nation is concerned. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think let me link it to one of the reasons why governments borrow, as he put it, mm -hmm. is to fund capital projects. Mm -hmm. These might be dams, these might be roads, these might be bridges, railway lines. And some of these projects are in the communities, for example, in the rural areas, mm. there's a road. So to some extent, when we go to these uh, communities, we try to say that this road was built uh, from borrowed funds, whether domestically or externally. Mm. So communities, to a, to a large extent, they would understand that we have a third road, it didn't come cheap. Mm. And communities debt. really told about that's all oh, that community just enjoys. Because I'm just, I mean, I grew up Komosha and I saw projects being done. I don't remember being, I mean, the participation of young people and uh, even, especially the youths and, and women and usually, uh, you know, usually excluded community. Are people really being told that this is serviced by or debt right. or, you know, yes. There's still a lot of work to be done in terms of conscientizing mm -hmm. them, in terms of how these projects are financed. I think there, there's a lot of work that right, we need right. to do today. But uh, the, the, the benefits of they get from these projects, mm -hmm. if it's a farming community, a, a tired road is very important of to, course. to take yeah. your farm produce to the market. Mm -hmm. To some extent, the youth get employed when these roads are constructed, yeah. so, so largely they, they, right. they, they benefit out of that. So, But I understand that some of these economic they, they should be sensitization mm -hmm. in terms of these economic issues.
issues. Mm -hmm. Because if a debt is badly managed, it, it will come back to, to yes. the citizens. Mm -hmm. Because we are the ones who pay in taxes. In the difficulty, I mean, yes. we, we're in a situation yes. where we are being told about austerity. It's yes. us trying to fix the past scenes, exactly. you know. So, exactly. um, But I just want us to get into, in the short time within this, uh, that we remain, <clears throat> some of the strategies that the government is engaging in servicing the debt that is there. Uh, the most important thing that you should take from, I just want to add something from what you said. The communities normally they don't know and they don't care about how a bridge mm. is, you know, a, or a certain project is financed. They are concerned about the services. Mm -hmm. That is what is more important. Right. But the time now they get to know that we are failing to get a service because the mm. government is mobilizing resources to pay areas or outstanding. Mm. That's when they get to know that, oh, oh we way. owe so much. Yeah. Why? Like, I can give you an example. The data assumption, I think you were aware, I think mm. two years or three years back. Right. That's when people were now saying, ah, what is this debt for? What was it borrowed mm. for? Mm. So. The, there is abuse of that facility. We have what we call Loan Guarantees Act mm. or a provision where parastatals, local authorities, they can borrow and the government guarantors. Mm. So in the event that that parastatal fails, the government assumes eh, the debt. Mm. So that's when they get to know. So awareness raising is very important so that they understand some of the basic financial mm. literacy. But now coming to the strategies that can be used to do this. We will come back to the issues of strategies in the next segment. So we're going to take a break. Do stay with us.